make a film like this obviously implies a lot of work, a lot of uh, commitment, and obviously to be exposed 14 hours a day in, in the exterior locations, in low temperatures, prepare all those landscapes, and logistically, it was a very challenging film because the reasons, because those time reasons, we were shooting a, a film about these trappers struggling in those conditions, and we had to go through the same because those scenarios were needed to express how nature can heal you, can kill you, can threaten you, and those were, I would say, the natural states of these men. As we are now used to concrete and city lights mm -hmm. and things like that, and for this the toughest jungle, maybe for this man, if somebody will be reborn now, they, how they survive here in New York or in London. The graphic scene with the bear, mm -hmm. um, dubbed by one critic, bear rape. Did that make <laughs> you laugh? I doubt that it was a very critic because nobody can say that. That was one of those things that <laughs> that happened there. And I think that maybe it's a metaphorical way to say that it was brutal. And obviously when a bear attack a man, it's, it's a brutal. And I went into that every detail, how and why a bear do that. And with the meticulous exploration, I want that the audience in a way um, that rarely will ever in life will witness something like that. That's the power of cinema. So for me, the film is a metaphor about how we, in our lives, even now, I think we die and reborn many times. And for me, uh, to deal with cancer is a bear attack, or to deal with a divorce, divorce, or when some family member died, those are, you fall from the cliff. You are attacked by a bear. You, and people really, in a way, has to really reinvent themselves, heal themselves spiritually, emotionally, physically. And I think we die and live and reborn many times in our life. <laughs> One thing that um, struck me very strongly was seeing these frontier pioneers of the 1800s where the right to bear arms was literally a matter of life and death. I wonder if you approach what is now a very hot gun debate topic in the States with a different understanding of, of what it means for Americans to, to be armed. Well, I think in that time and in those territories it made absolutely sense those men can't live without a gun in that time. Because there were, you know, when you were going into those places, everything was a threat. More widely, how do you see America, the country you've now made your home, uh, in an election year, it's gonna be a big year for America, this. How do you feel as a Mexican? How do you feel about this country that you see, to some extent, from the outside? Well, I, 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 I really have been a privileged uh, guy in in United States, I have just been but support, and have had the privilege to work, and I'm absolutely thankful for many, many, many things. That's not the same luck for many of my Mexican fellows. The fact that they are invisible, the fact that they haven't been recognized, the fact of the ones that has been living for here for, you know, 10, 15 years, families that has built everything that has benefited society, that not have just contributed in the working hand, but culturally, with their smiles, with their power, with their, a lot of things that I think has to, they have given, the fact that they are invisible, not recognized, and they haven't been accepted and officially been citizens with the rights of anybody, is something that really fills my heart with a lot of pain. Do you think it's going to get harder for Mexicans in America this year, given the comments by Donald Trump, etc.? I, I really don't know. Uh, I, 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 I think that, you know, e, e, you know it's in, in the story of the world, people doesn't get along easily, even in our families. <laughs> you know what I mean? In a 15-day trip, you can really get not along with people that you love. But that doesn't mean that you deport people or you stop or you build a wall or you, you, you know, or you kill somebody. You know, we have to get along in a way, especially when it's so complicated. And I think there's a lack of understanding. When, when those comments are expressed irresponsibly with such an ignorant way to not understand the integrity and the dimension and the complexity of human beings with the reason that make them being there, without compassion, without kindness, 
there is no way to love somebody. Without, with, 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 if we don't understand the other, who you love, if you don't understand that. Alejandro Iñárritu, many thanks.